this fire is the major reason that the beautiful species called peace is on the verge of extinction from our world. Uh, in our schooling system, my age group saw in our, our uh, textbooks that we, in our Urdu books that Ahmad is a very good guy and he reads the Quran and reads the Quran and reads the uh, and we have Hindus in our classmates and they were staring at us that I am not reciting Quran daily and I am not offering five days whether I am not a good person and then we, we learned in our textbooks Iqbal as someone who only taught people that Alam hai fakat mu'min jabaz ki miras which is again violence and then uh, a poem of Iqbal which tells us Jangi Armu ka ek vakya, which tells the story of Fedai named Akrama bin Abu Jahl uh, who offered himself as a suicide bomber of modern day and he is praising them so these all uh, and parallel to us Afghan refugees in the Afghan camps they were learning mathematics by this kind of questions I am just quoting the question that if 12 Russian soldiers are traveling in a group of Mujahideen invaded and killed 7 in 5 days how many are left? This was a mathematics question. So you can imagine that how much violence have our generation seen from different things. And that's why I call my generation Generation V or Generation of Violence. And we are at the gates of maturity now and we are almost parents and there is a greater hope because Mahatma Gandhi once told people that if you wish to create lasting peace you must begin with children. And in short, we still have a hope for future and our generation is truly living by this hope. Now the way forward, uh, if we look at the history of law which is given by Moses towards the religious side and Aristotle and Plato to a lot of other thinkings, all these laws have tried to harness the vehemently fierce name animal uh, as named as violence. The best way found by these sages was to tag violence as evil and criminal and they retaliated with more violence but they then named that violence as justice and punishment. So in short this hypothesis to kill fire with fire has failed miserably and then again right now through technological ability human beings have got the ability to crush everyone, every species on this earth. So there is, a, there is a very huge potential for violence in this world. Indeed the traditional approach of preventing violence with the bigger violence have failed miserably and with the start of 21st century we are hoping and we are hoping from all the thinkers to think out a new strategy because this has failed miserably for thousands of years.